Here we go. We're live. Hi, guys. How are you? Look at everybody out there. Birds. There's a lot of people. Okay, let me get my phone set up so I can see what you guys are saying about me. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me turn the volume down. Hi, guys. It's so good to see everybody. Wyoming's here. Buddy the Bird, Etsy. Kai Corna, Linda the Parrot. Hi, Linda. Love for animals. Don Scott and I were talking about you, Linda. We love you. Mikio's here, SS founder, or SRR founder. Sorry about that. Grenar's here. Hi, Grenar. So, oh my goodness, we're so happy to have you. Thank you for coming and taking time to spend with me and the birds, right? Yes. And today's topic is a big one household toxins. Are you slowly killing your parrots? And chances are we are, and we're slowly doing it. And I probably am too. And we just don't know because it's absolutely shocking how many toxins there can be in the house. Now, these are delicate rainforest flowers. I say that a lot. They're in a foreign land, right? They don't belong here. And they have a really, um, they have all kinds of air sacs. They have seven to nine air sacs in their body. So they're just basically air. And so when they breathe in that air, it just goes straight to the organs and their muscles. It doesn't really filter like ours does. And so by the time it gets there, it gets there really quick, right? It's not clean and it can kill them real quick. So today we're gonna to talk about all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be really good. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY cleaner of your own. Like it takes seconds that you can use to clean everything in your house. I use it in the bird room. I use it in the bathroom. I use it everywhere, right baby? And it's totally safe. So let's get started. There's so much to cover you guys. And I'm so glad you're here. So this time of year is, are you knocking things over Puff Man? This time of year is when people kill their birds unfortunately, because the windows are closed because it starts to get cold, right? So a lot of toxic fumes build up in the house. And that's why, you know, I've never been in really cold temperature. So honestly, the coldest I've ever been was probably like 33 degrees. And that was just for a minute. And I thought I was going to die. I'm a San Diegan, right? So I know it's hard. No, actually, I, I have no clue what you people are going through out there that are like in zero below. Um, but if you can open your windows a couple times throughout the day, probably not some of you, and just air out your house really quick, it would help your birds so, so much. So let's start out in the kitchen. There are so many things that can kill your birds. And there's a new one that everybody's starting to use that can totally kill your birds. And they're hiding it in your foods. Yes, they are. It's absolutely horrible. Okay, so let's start out with the killer. So I have a bag. I have stuff placed all throughout here. So I'm going to be bending, just kind of moving around, kind of like octopus. Avocado oil is like the thing right now, unfortunately. And many of you know that avocados are toxic for your parrots. It will kill your parrots. So they're sticking avocado oil in chips. They're sticking avocado oil in crackers, right? Yes, they're sticking avocado oil in things that you would not imagine. So if you guys give your birds a people treat, be so very careful. Look at the back of the label, right, Thomas? Make sure that there's not avocado oil. And if you go to the store, if you go to a restaurant and you bring some food home, I recommend you don't. But if you do, just make sure they're not spraying this stuff in the food, right? So this is a killer. This is the latest killer of birds. So be careful, guys. Also, we have nonstick pans totally dangerous. It releases Teflon fumes into the air once it hits a certain temperature and there's no way. Hi, Victoria. Hi, baby. Hi, puppy. Hey, Thomas. I didn't introduce them. Maui's sleeping. Casey's over there. And Quinn is locked up with plenty of toys so he doesn't attack the other birds. But so basically, pans, toaster ovens, you know those George Foreman cookers? 
those things are killers. They will totally kill your birds. Those things that you make waffles, those will totally kill your birds. Terrible stuff. And I don't know about you, San Diego has like the worst water on the planet, I hear. And it's very hard. So people will put, they'll put like a soft water maker in their house. Now, for those of you, you want to make sure that you're not giving your birds soft water, right? Because it's full of salt. So that's something to think about. And when I give my birds water, it's filtered water. And I do have a filter system on the entire house, but it's not soft water. So it goes through the entire house. And then I put it through another filter as well. So that's something to think about if you're renting a house or if you don't know what kind of water you have, it's just so important that you find out and also double filter it if you can. For those of you that are using bottled water, just remember, you know, I, some of that plastic, it does create toxins as well. And that could be another way that you're slowly killing your parrots. So this is another one. This one absolutely freaks me out. A lot of people don't know about this is if you cook with a lot of oil, what happens is it goes up in the air, your birds will breathe it and it slowly destroys the cells in their air sacs. So if you're cooking with co uh, canola oil, avocado oil, it doesn't matter if you're using a stainless steel pan, it still goes up into the air and over time, it will break down the cells in their air sacs and slowly kill your parrots. And that's one that a lot of people don't know about as well. So it's so scary. So let's talk about, so basically you stainless steel when you're cooking. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Aluminum foil, you guys are gonna be using a lot of that during the holidays, right? So uh, aluminum foil has decided to come out with a non-stick aluminum foil. I forgot to grab it. and don't use it. So you'll see it says nonstick. Don't use anything that says nonstick. And even if, if it says nonstick, but not Teflon, there's another one that actually Costco is selling. And I saw it on Facebook and it's these pans that are nonstick and they said they were totally safe. Don't use them. They're, people's birds are, they're, they're dying basically. And if it says nonstick, just no, it's probably not a good thing. Right, Thomas? Did you just say your name? Yo, you're such a good boy. He's molting. He's molting, so he's a little grumpy. So just really think about that. And also, if you have, uh, if you're cooking popcorn in your microwave, those popcorn bags, they have nonstick. They'll totally kill your parrot. Totally. You, you might get lucky over time, but it's just the perfect storm, right? And that's usually when the windows are closed. And then those bags that you cook those poor little turkeys in, well, I prefer, just cook like a tofu bird or something, right? No, but for those nonstick bags, those plastic bags that you stick the turkey in and you stick in the oven, those things are a total killer as well. So those of you might say, well, it didn't kill my bird last year. Well, you got lucky, right? You don't know what the airflow was going. So you got lucky. So don't chance it. So let's talk about what your cars can do to your birds. So any of those air fresheners, when you go to the car wash, say you don't want any air freshener. If you want an air freshener, just get a little bit of baking soda and a cup or some grind coffee beans and just stick it in somewhere in your car and that'll just suck up all that grossness. If your car's stinking, you might need to get it detailed, but with no air cleaners, right? No air, uh, air fresheners, right? So just be careful. Another thing, those of you that are putting in brand new carpet, oh my goodness. So there's petroleum in this carpet. There's also, oh my gosh, why did I forget what that word was? Because it's something that I deal with as oh, formaldehyde because I'm a hairdresser. They're putting that in a lot of the keratin straighteners. So when you heat it up, it's actually so bad for you. And I actually don't do them anymore, but they're, that's also in the carpet. So when you are remodeling a house um, or you're moving into a house, you gotta be so careful with that. And some of you are like, I, I can't help it, right? So you got to make sure there's some serious airflow. You let that house air out because that carpet can be really bad. And also fake wood can be super bad for your birds. Those fumes gradually build up the petroleum, the formaldehyde. And especially when it gets hotter, 
it, it can seriously kill your parrot. And I'm really sensitive to that stuff. And so it's just really something to think about. So let's go into the bathroom. No, we're not gonna go to the bathroom, but let's talk about what are some of the things. Oh, it's, I'm going over here. It's okay. It's okay. It's just me grabbing stuff. You're fine. You're fine. So I've got some stuff here that we use in the bathroom, right? Well, girls do, right? I know I do. So I use a flat iron and that has a non-stick, right? And then also this is a style winder. Oh my gosh, the best curls on the planet. It doesn't leave a mark in your hair. It's just like unbelievable. Look at that thing. So it's totally toxic for your birds. Super bad when it's plugged in. You don't want to have any of these things plugged in. You don't want your birds in the bathroom. Blow dryers, holy Batmobile. So there are so many horrible things in blow dryers right now. Um, they mess with the ions. It's a lot of non-stick inside. There's a lot of Teflon coating in those um, blow dryers. A lot of those ions are made to break down the water molecule, right? So as hairdressers can blow your hair quicker, um, it really messes up with your bird's breathing system, your bird's air sacs. So don't use those around them. Um, I know those of you that are in the freezing cold, you say, but April, I got to use a blow dryer. So look for just plain blow dryer. It's still a risk, I have to say. Make sure it has no ions. Make sure it's just a plain blow dryer. And I actually found one at Walmart. It's Revlon. It was like 20 bucks. Um, but if you're going to do that, because you got to be so careful because you can burn these delicate little rainforest flowers. Their skin is so delicate. You don't want to dry them out. You just want to get enough to where they're not dripping wet and freezing, right? I suggest you just make the house pretty warm. And I'm going to talk about how to do that in a second. But basically, if you're going to do that, you want to run that blow dryer for hours. Burn off anything that might be on the inside. And if you do have to blow your dryer birds, which I'm not a big fan on, but I, I, I totally understand you guys, keep it on low. Keep it on low. Just be so careful with these little guys because they're so, so very delicate. And then also remember, you don't want to use any air fresheners that you plug in. You don't want to use any air fresheners around them at all. No essential oils up into the air. Those essential oils go into their air sacs, you guys. And the way their cells are developed are, are, are in their trachea, it's flat, right? So when that goes in, it, if there's any gunk, they can't cough it up like we do, right? So it basically sits in those lungs, it builds bacteria, and eventually those, those essential whatever's that lavender, you know, you just gotta be so careful it will eventually, it could cause some serious problems. So just really think about that. Yes? Okay, so now let's talk about how I keep my birds warm in the bird room, right? So this is really tricky. This is where people kill their birds all the time. And so we gotta be so careful. So right here, I have a ceramic light. And this is a ceramic bulb right there. It's black, so when you plug it in, it's just black right? And it's a wonderful heater. Um, it's totally safe. But if you got a gazillion birds like I do, then this isn't going to work. I bring this out when I have a bird that's not feeling well. Um, I'll bring it out. And there we go. Or a bird that's like a naked bird like Casey and Victoria. I'll bring it out for them. And then right here we have, it's an aluminum. I actually have this at our Amazon store. So this is an aluminum. And, and this is porcelain right here. So this is this is safe. Some of these that they make, they have Teflon around here. And some of these bulbs are not safe that aren't ceramic. And so when you use them, they create fumes and you can see it every year. I do on Facebook where birds have died. So it's something to think about. And just like anything, run this thing for a couple hours not around your bird. I like to burn off everything because we don't know. A lot of these things come from factories and they might coat it with something. So just always be careful, right? Just be so careful. So let me do something because this is glass. I get so scared about glass in the bird room. All right. So, oh, oh, oh my goodness. So right back here is an air purifier. Do you guys see that? So this is an air purifier and they're making air purifiers that have ions. And once again, the ions are really dangerous for your birds, you guys. You just want a HEPA 
air purifier and you want it to break down, a true HEPA purifier breaks down 99.9% .9 of the particles. Anything less, don't buy it. It's a piece of junk. So you always want to Google to make sure that that purifier is doing that for you and don't turn on the ions, okay? So no ions. Now, this right here, what, boo-boo? What? What's wrong? His eye is doing so good. His face just something else. There. So what's going on is, you guys, we have a time change. And so the birds are kind of like, trying. they're like, this is our bedtime. So they're just like, what's going on, mama? There we go. Okay, we'll just let him go in there. So this, Victoria, you better not be chewing on any cords. How long has she been down there? Hold on. I just was so into talking about things that you could kill your parrots. And here's my bird, Victoria Cockatoo, come here. Come on, sorry guys. You know how these lives go. There we go. Oh, you wanna say hi? There she is. There she is. Yeah, there's Victoria. She's such a good girl. Do you want to dance? Do you want to dance? What? <laughs> you looking at me with those crazy cockatoo eyes? Do you want to walk around in here? Yeah, so Baby, who usually will touch the Swiss chard, did not touch it today. Look at that, but I have all kinds of goodies here. So let's get back into the heater. So this is the heater that I use, and it's an oil heater. Okay, I'm gonna stick this on our Amazon store so you can see. This is the only heater I actually trust, and it's made by DeLonghi. And so this is the second one. So basically there's oil inside, it heats up, it heats up the room so well. And I don't have to put it on high, I just put in like number two, number three, but then I'm in San Diego, right? You guys might have to really crank it up if you live back east. Uh, but what I did was when I first got it, like I say, I ran this thing probably for a good 24 hours on high in a different room, just in case if there was some coating and you can kind of smell, right? You can kind of smell stuff. And even if it doesn't have a smell, it doesn't mean that it's not releasing anything into the air. So, you know, when they package this, some stuff can stick to it. So I definitely burnt all the stuff off of this DeLonghi uh, <laughs> oil heater. So it's super important. So I love this one. It's a good one. Now, a lot of you guys, like right now it gets dry. It's super dry in San Diego. And a lot of your birds are having issues because they're delicate rainforest flowers and they belong in humidity. Do you, what? What? Well, hi Thomas. You are so cute. You're so cute. Yeah. So for the humidity, now this thing is heavy, you guys, well, what? And I know there's a lot of people that don't like humidifiers, but I'm going to tell you why they don't like humidifiers. Because these things can grow bacteria real quick. So this just has water. You should only put water in it. And this is the VIX one. It has no VIX in it. It's just a water humidifier. And did I call it a purifier? I hope I didn't. But it's a humidifier. Right, Thomas? Right? Yeah? And I clean this thing out once every three days. So I go in with white vinegar, a little bit of white vinegar and water. And I shake it around and I scrub everything. And I let it sit. And then I make sure I get it all out. And then I fill it up again. So you guys don't want any slime in there because that's bacteria going up into the air. And it's the same with spray bottles. That's another way you can slowly kill your parrots are spray bottles, right? Because that grows all that icky bacteria. So you got to clean out those spray bottles. And while we're talking about spray bottles, let's talk about stainless steel. Now, stainless steel spray bottles... Some of them are coming from China and they are coating stuff on the inside and the out because those spray bottles are coming across the ocean, coming across it through, uh, it's going through the salt water. It's obviously in one of those things, but they don't want it to get damaged, right? So they are starting to coat those stainless steel spray bottles with UK. And there have been reports that people have 
sprayed their birds and their birds have died. So that's something to think about. If you got a spray bottle, you want to make sure I, I like, you know, high quality plastic for my spray bottles. Or if you're going to do stainless steel, make sure it's a really high quality stainless steel and it's not coming from China. So, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You're such a good boy. He's such a good boy. So those are the things that I use for the humidifier, the air cleaner in here, the heater in the bird room, and it works really, really well. So let me take a moment. Did I remember everything? You guys, is there anything that you can add to this discussion that I may have forgotten or I do not know? Let me know. There's a lot of comments. Whoa, wow. Some people use the spray bottles for the garden. Are those okay? Use the spray bottles from the garden for your birds. Um, I like if it's BPA, just make sure that it's a high quality spray bottle because you don't want any of the petroleum that's in that plastic leaking into that spray bottle. So the way to avoid that, just change it out every time. And after you use it, just totally empty it take out the little um, plasticky thing, right? Just take it apart, take it apart and just clean it out and save it for the next day. And you can also soak them in white vinegar as well, but make sure when you spray your birds, there's no vinegar in there because that will, that'll burn them. And you do not, you know, you don't want to cause that, especially, my gosh, can you imagine spraying poor Victoria cockatoo with vinegar? No, that wouldn't work. All right, let's see. Glass spray bottles are good, but still need to be clean. That's true. And you just got to be careful not to break them around the birds. Um, let's see. This is the best video. A lot of peps don't know, didn't know it's been a big change in the whole house. Okay, so candles. Yes, candles, candles, thank you, are super bad, super toxic for your birds. Just get the ones that are battery operated and keep the batteries away from your birds. Oh, how many of you know what is the number one killer of household pets? Can anybody answer that question? Do you guys know? Does anybody know? Does anybody know? Medication. Human medication. That is the number one killer of household pets. It's easy to drop pills. Birds are attracted to shiny little round objects. So if you guys are taking medication... I suggest you have a room where you take your medication where your birds don't go. So just have it all. Sherry from Paratown, she has this little thing. And by the way, TV for birds, Sherry for Paratown, it's a wonderful channel for birds, made by birds, for birds. It's awesome music. You guys would love it. So her link is below. But don't leave me just now. We're not done. But you can leave in a little bit. But definitely check her out if you already, if you already haven't. She's awesome. Um, so, okay, so medication. So be really careful. Go to a separate room and let that be your medication room. Also, what I didn't talk about, I saw somebody suggest it, uh, cleaner. So we're going to go through the cleaner. But basically, Quinn, what's wrong? What? What? Are you, are you a crow? Do we have a crow in here? Huh? Yeah, you look awfully green to be a crow. Are you okay? But cleaners, you guys, stay away from the cleaners. And I'm going to make a cleaner right now. So basically what I've got is I have a bottle. It's so hard to find good spray bottles. So this is a recycled spray bottle. And I really love this one. It really squirts well. And I've got water. Do you see how much water I've got in there? Do you guys see that? So I'm going to open it up. And this is a clean spray bottle. There's just water. And I hope I don't pour it all. I'll just pour a little bit, but you guys are going to get the idea. So this is just white vinegar. I use this to clean everything. Good girl, Victoria. And I'll just pour. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. And I will just bring it to the top. Now, if you guys want more serious cleaning action than less water and more vinegar, but if you do that... Don't do it with your birds, like right by them, because the vinegar can get a little strong. So just think about that. And then, what? What is it? You want to come out? And then a little, a few drops of soap in 
there, just like that, because soap kills bacteria and many things. So I just put a few drops in there. A little bit goes a long ways. And then you go in there because you need that. It just really cuts the grease. Just shake it up. And there is your cleaner, you guys. This is for the bird cages. This is for the floor. This is for your bathroom. It is absolutely incredible. You can also add a little bit of lemon. That's what Sherry from Parrot Town does. She adds a little bit of lemon in there. But this is what I clean with. And I never have to worry about killing my birds because there's so much out there that can kill them, like Lysol, Windex with ammonia, right? And if you guys want the best window cleaner, it's just vinegar and water with no soap. That makes the best window cleaner on the planet. No streaks. It costs like cents to make. You know, there's just no reason to waste that money on those toxic cleaners. Spend it on your birds, right? Buy them some good toys. That's what I do. So that's how you make a DIY cleaner. It's that simple. It's that simple, right? And if you want to get super creative, oh my gosh, don't do what I did though. When I was cleaning the bathroom one day, I, I just wasn't thinking and I poured a bunch of vinegar in the toilet, right? And then I stuck a bunch of baking soda in there. I wasn't thinking, right? And it basically was like a volcano coming up. I, it, it wouldn't stop. So, But I do love to also clean with baking soda. It really scrubs well. And for those of you that want like a nice conditioning exfoliant for your body, baking soda. So you can just be in the shower, rub that on your face, rub that on your skin. And it's so nice. And you don't have to use toxic stuff. So when you come out of that shower, you're not full of chemicals. And just think about the lotions that you're using as well. Some of them have zinc. Some of those sunscreens have zinc. And you do not want to hold your birds, right? Because zinc is toxic for parrots. Victoria wants her cage back. Is baby in there? So zinc is toxic for parrots. So just be so careful. Just be really thoughtful when you're around your birds of your lipstick because lipstick can have heavy metals in it of your hair products. Just think of all the toxins in your hair products and you're holding your birds. And so that's just something to really, really think about because we are just so toxic when it comes to our birds. We don't realize how bad we're polluting our houses. And there's so many people that are getting sick out there, right? And it's really sad. But if you think about what we're eating and what's around us, it's hard to avoid it. It really is. Um, it kind You kind of go, you're, it's not surprising. So all we can do is our best. And we have to do our super best when we're around our birds, right? Do you guys see my shirt? I forgot. I forgot I was wearing this. Do you see what it says? It says, save a parrot. This is going to be my new, new, like, thing now, my new logo, right? Perry, Sherry from Parrot Town came up with it because that's what I like to do. And that's what we want to do. We want to save our parrots from all these chemicals. And it's just so important. So let's look at a few more questions here, you guys. Okay. So beautiful birds, clever birds, so much they need to satisfy them. Yes. It's hard to keep these wild animals happy and healthy in captivity. They are real wild animals. They are, and they're unpredictable. Do you love Save the Parrot? Good. I'm going to have merch soon. So I'm going to have really cute merch. I have an artist working on it and it's going to be awesome. And it's going to be all Save the Parrot, you guys. I'm going to have a Save a Parrot group on Facebook. Like it's going to be serious and we are going to be saving parrots. I've got something in my head and it is going to be incredible us working with rescues and there's just so many ways you can save a parrot whether it's adopting whether it's sponsoring a bird at a sanctuary right whether if you are a computer genius you can help them do social media or set up a website websites are a big deal in rescues they don't usually have the money for it and they don't have the time or the knowledge to do it either so there's just so many ways you guys can save parrots so this is going to be the new thing i'm really excited about it Okay, last few questions. Here we go. Okay, Etsy, my family still loves, oh, home defense and raid. Oh, no. I'm scared for my birds' lives. I choose uh, 
flip flops as weapons. Oh no, that is so hard when you live with people that don't understand, right? About how delicate these guys are and how serious it can be. And it's it's tough, you guys. It's really tough. And you know, chalk, Sherry from Barrytown told me about the chalk. You just put it around your house. Ants do not like chalk. And I actually I put chalk all around cinnamon. They don't like peppermint, but peppermint is toxic for your parrots. So you can actually put that outside around the house, but nowhere where it's going to go up into the bird room. It will kill them. It is so strong and toxic for them. Eucalyptus is toxic for them. A lot of those wood oils, cedar oils are toxic for them. So that's why I say just stay away from essential oils. Stay away from the cleaners. Make your own. And definitely, if you could not use bug spray, that's the best thing. But some of you guys are in houses. Some of you are kids and your parents don't understand. And I understand that. I do. So you just got to do your best. And that's all we can do. All right, guys. If you have any... Yes, chalk. Yeah, chalk. Yep. Yep. Chalk is awesome. Okay. Jebby, it's not... It's been hard for me. My eldest has severe allergies. The only thing I had to learn, keep away from them was, oh, essential oil. So, so it's been pretty easy for you. That's great. That's great. Yes, those essential oils are a mess. They are a mess, you guys. All right, guys. If you have any more questions or information, right? Once this video is done processing, it'll take a little while. Put those questions at the bottom. And we would all love to see them. And I'll go by and answer as many of them as I can. Next week live stream is going to be on Monday. And it's going to be how to convert your parrots off of those seeds onto pellets. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right, guys. We love you. These birds are cranky. They want to go to bed. The time change is terrible. And we love you. Thank you so much for watching and taking time out of your day. And I'm going to hit this button. I I need a remote control for this. Bye, guys. Thank you. Adopt, don't shop. Bye.